Hey guys, Rick here from Waxing Moon Forge. Uh, today I'm going to make a simple little candle holder. There's going to be a glass thing that goes here, cups onto this here. Uh, I'm going to put a little, little swirl here, a little curly Q deal there. And uh, this will stick into the ground. And it'll stand up just about like this. Birds. Anyways, uh, it's going to be for uh, my daughter's uh, uh, wedding uh, ceremony. Uh, I'm making about uh, two dozen of these. So, yeah, we're going to make that today. Okay, see you guys in a little bit. So we're going to start off by making this round bar square. Always go square to round. Speeding up a little bit just to show you what I'm doing there. I'm going to point to it. This is the point that's going to be stuck into the ground. Just keep working that point. I don't know about these voiceovers, it's kind of hard to to look at the video and keep and, and talk about the videos <laughs> as you're watching it. Okay, I did that other point. Now this is the other side. This is the side that's going to have the little, the little finial there, the little curly Q. Again, go to square and then start drawing out a point to it. And as your metal gets colder, just work a little bit lighter. Heat it up again. And down to a little point. Okay, now we got down to a pretty good point there. So that little finial, that little curly cue can look nice. A little, nice little start, a little, little beginning there. Now we're going to go ahead and put this thing back to round. Knock off the corners. And as that's cooling off, slowly planish that metal down to a nice little round. There you are, down to the point. Okay, now we're going to start curling it, slowly curl it down, and you're going to brush that back towards yourself, and always keep the metal moving, if not you'll get a flat spot, I always have trouble with that sometimes, you just got to take your time, make sure you get a nice good heat, and bring it back to yourself, keep it, keep it flat, And just keep on going, just keep on pulling it towards yourself and keep always keep turning that metal. Don't hit in the same spot too many times. It'll keep it from getting that flat spot. Somewhere on the anvil, I always use the hardy hole to check and see the, the width of the, the little filling I'm using. It needs a little bit more. Almost there, almost there. Just a little bit more. I'm gonna start tidying it up a little bit, Just closing up those little gaps. Always keep turning it. All right, flatten it out. Okay, I made this jig. Well, I didn't make it. A friend of mine made it because I don't have a welder, but he made the jig for me. Get that out. Get that starting to get it round. Gotta heat it up again. Get the last bit. There it goes. Right there. Okay. And then off camera, I show you know I'll go up and I'll flatten it off on the on the anvil. There's a cone mandrel that I purchased. It just it's easier to 
to get your things round instead of the horn because the horn is not round it's a uh, I don't know what the word is, but it's not round. So the cone mandrel is uh, uh, an equal taper all the way, you know, from the bottom to the top. Now we're just going to bend that oh that piece over. And just keep working it till you're satisfied. Yep. That's good. I had another one made already, of course, and uh, just checking to see it's, you don't have to be exact, pretty close enough. And just a little bit of touch ups. Just close it up a little bit more. Try to make it look, you know, have a complete circle. Tidy up just a little bit. There. Sure, straighten it out again. Make sure everything's good. Make it look nice. Okay, now I'm gonna just brush that off a bit with this steel brush. I'm gonna do a little bit more clean on it later on to get it nice and pretty before I uh, put a couple of coats of uh, lacquer on it. Help protect it. Okay, there we go. Okay guys, all finished up there. I think it came out pretty nice. Uh, I've done about 14 of these and well, a few more to go. And uh, like I say, the more you do, the, the better you get at it. So all those guys that are out there just starting out, like I am, brand new uh, blacksmith, uh, just keep, keep going. Keep doing what you're doing and it'll get better and you always have fun, even if you're making mistakes like I do. I, I always make mistakes even when I'm trying to do these, I'll mess up once in a while. So yeah, uh, I think uh, my daughter's gonna really like those and uh, I hope the guests like them too. So anyways, until next time, God bless.